Hello, I welcome all of you in my channel Insuring and Info and today in this video I will solve the example 5.3 from the book Design and Analysis of Experiments by Montgomery. This example was related to the full factorial design in which we have taken three factors. One of the factor was at uh, three levels whereas the rest of two factors were at two levels. In my previous video that was quite lengthy I have solved this uh, example manually by, by hand calculation mostly and then in this video I will solve the same example using Minitype software. So let's go to Minitype. In the Minitype software we will have to go to the stat then stat in design of experiment DOE means design of the design of experiments. In design of experiment we will have to select factorial and then create factorial design. Upon click on the create uh, factorial design, we will have to select the number of factors that are involved in our study. So I have told you that in my study, there are three factors, percent carbonation, operating pressure and line speed. So I will select three factors in the mini tab. So I will select factors, number of factors equal to three. Then I will go to, I will have to click on general full factorial design. Please remember that by default, the first option will be clicked at two level factorial default generators. However, in our case, there are one factor having three levels and two factors having two levels. So we will go to general full factorial design. And then again, you will go to the design. You will have to select the number of levels each factor have. So first factor has two, three levels and second has two level. And again, third has two level. And I'm going to example and see that at each treatment, there are two number of replications and their sum is encircled. So in the mini tab, I will select that there are two number of replications. Select two, then click OK. Then go to the factors. You can write here the factor name. I will repeat this procedure two times. First of all, I will do this procedure for generic factor name by using A, B, C. OK. And the next, uh, after a few minutes, you will see in the video that I will write here names. So there will be two kinds of designs you can obtain. In the option, I always suggest the students to check to, to check out this randomizer. Don't check it randomizer because if you click on the randomizer, it will be very difficult for you to enter the data. So click OK, then hit OK. So you will see that you will get a generic name A, B, C. Treat A as a factor with three level, B is your second factor with two level, C your third factor with three levels. Let's go and make this design a little bit specific, specific with, with, uh, with respect to the names of the factors. So I will go to the factors and I will change the name here. I will say the first factor name is percent, E-R-C-E-N-T, percent carbonation. The second factor name was operating pressure. So I will write here operating pressure. And the third one was line speed. Okay, then click OK. Rest of all of the options we have selected earlier. Look at this, a new design has been formed. And in that design, you have percent carbonation, operating pressure, and light speed has been provided as a heading of the factors. And if you say, uh, we have obtained the factor names, but here, instead of levels 1, 2, and 3, in our research paper, we want uh, a, this specific levels which we have selected for our study to be there. So what you will do, you will again go to the stat. Here, I'm telling you all of the possible ways because depending upon the researcher, what he want to publish in his in, a, in his or her research paper, he will have to this he will have, he will have to present in a specific way. Means maybe in the generic x you can use the axis generic as one two three. Maybe you will have to use the axis a very specific. So again, all of the setting are same. Just you will have to go to the factors, and in the factors you will have to put the value of specified in the level. So I have the percent carbonation is levels are 10 12 and 14 so i will replace this 1 2 3 by 10 and then 12 and then 14 same is the case i will enter the operating pressure levels their operating pressure is 30 psi and i have 25 psi so i will write here 25 as a first level and 30 psi as a second level 
in case of line speed i will have to enter 200 and 250 so i will write 200 and 250 by clicking ok here and ok here i have a new worksheet will be opened so this is the most specific one so it is up to you that which one worksheet you will enter you will uh, use now i will have to enter the data so for entering the data i suggest you people to click on this tab because this tab will provide you data only and it will be quite easy for you people to enter the data so how i will enter the data first of all it says that enter the data for percent corporation 10 operating pressure 2 and line speed 200 so this was my first data percent corporation 10 pressure 25 and line speed 200 so my data is minus 3 i have highlighted minus 3 so you will enter minus 3 here minus 3 and first of all right here what's the your response variable so i will say my response variable is is my response variable is fill height deviation so i will write fill height deviation then i will have to put the whole data next data is 10 25 and 250 so i will go to again question at 10 25 and 250 the next data point is minus one this one highlighted so i will write here in the mini tab as minus one then for the third value i have 10 30 200 so 10 then uh, you can say this one 30 uh, pressure and 200 line speed it will be minus one obviously my fourth value will be this one as it will be from 10 30 and 250 let me check yes 10 30 250 it will be one again the next value will be 12 25 200 so 12 25 pressure and 200 line speed the my next value is one i'm sorry this is zero it's the first application and one is the second application we will have to enter the next time i have entered the data for the first replication my first replication data has been completed now i, have, I will have to continue it for the second replication look at this how you know that that it is whether it is first replication or second look at this your factor treatment combination 10 25 200 and the first one is also 10 25 200 so it was the second replication again you will have 24 number of uh, experiments and in 24 number of experiment the first 12 set shows the first replication and 13 to 24 shows you second replication next thing what you uh, what it says to you that uh, either you, what's the standard order and what's the run order standard order is just like one two three it's a basic numbering however in the run order i have click on uh, i've unchecked the randomized run so that's why it says that perform the experiment in a specific sequence but i suggest you people to generate two designs for you people for performing the experimentation click the randomized runs because you're uh, because when you do randomization you are blocking the effect of nuisance factors and whenever you have to input the data in the sheet in the mini tab for the analysis then uncheck the randomized run this will help you people to enter the data in a quite easiest way i'm going to tell you a shortcut this first of all enter the second set of four values means just like it's in this row minus one zero zero one and then enter one one three five and then enter four six nine eleven look at this i am entering these values at a random and then we will cross check that we have whether we have entered data correctly or not so minus one zero zero one so minus one zero zero one then i will enter one one three five basically this is my second replication so one one three five one one three five let's check whether we have entered the data correctly or not so we will check that at the percent conversion 12 operating pressure 30 and line speed 250 whether it's the observation is 5 or not so 12 30 250 so with the 12 and the pressure 30 
and the line speed 250 we got this 5 we get this okay so this is basically a shortcut for entering the data the last one is 4 6 9 11 so you will say 4 6 9 11 we have input the data now i will analyze it so how will i analyze it i will go again press stat then doe then factorial then you will say analyze factorial design click on this you will have to select the response so you, my response is fill height deviation i will have to now i will go to terms all terms are okay there are three main factor effect three two level interaction and the one is a uh, three level interaction effect three factor interaction effect then uh, covariates all of them are okay options okay stepwise click okay graphs so i need veto chart yeah, okay individual plots okay fine results i need extended tables let me tell you what are these they are quite helpful in the analysis and then in the storage option it says that whether you need the results in your in any column or not so i do not need at this time i will click ok so there are no results are showing there what you will do you will have to go back to again this option if it's not showing there are three options in this these option uh, if i select the last one it will only show me the outputs look at this so what's this result say first of all the results uh, says that you have used factor percent combination there were three levels these are the levels operating pressure again two levels these were the level values line speed two levels again the level values are given i have the anova table in this anova table it says that i have three levels percent combination operating pressure line speed and uh, the associated degrees of freedom with all of these factors given for example uh, percent combination has three levels so its degree of freedom is two same is the case operating pressure and line speed has two to two to uh, levels so their degree of freedom is one one respectively then in the beneath it shows us the f average the adjusted mean scares f value and p value look at this it is quite obvious to you people that person carbonation operating pressure and line speed all of them has p value equal to zero it means all of them has a significant effect on on the results you can also cross check the results that are obtained here let's suppose uh, i can i want to uh, cross check the results of percent carbonation so adjusted ms is 126 and f value is 178 let's go to the book uh, remember 126 and 178 so look at this percent carbonation effect is uh, mean scale is 126.375 and the f value is 178.412 and p value is 2 and p value is 0 0 and 0 so all of this uh, values are same you can cross check the whole data and so in this way we can perform a full factorial design let's come downward so if you use the expanded tables you got a very lengthy regression analysis in which the regression analysis has been made by taking in into account each and every level of the factor then pito chart tells us that the huge factor is a factor our first factor on the response variable that is percent combination followed by factor b and then factor c then this was all about full factorial design and you have performed the analysis by using the uh, by using the uh, sheet in which all of the uh, labels have been uh, have been given in full form instead of a b c or and all of the levels are given instead of one two three so if you want that i want to do the analysis perform the analysis uh, by taking uh, by taking it into account the coded variables so means the level should be coded as one two three and factor as coded as a b c so what you will have to do you will have to just click here the whole column will be copied press ctrl c go to the worksheet number two paste here just like you, you do in excel so you can also perform the analysis same is the case you say i will have to put my data in the worksheet number one in which all of the factors have been there as you can say coded so look at this you've input a data and all instead of uh, you can say fill height deviation you can may write here response r e s p o n s so 
in this video i have told you about all of the methods by that how you can uh, create different type of full factorial designs then it's analysis complete if you have any project you can uh, take help from me my whatsapp number my email address has been provided you can ask questions in the comments as well thanks a lot for watching this video bye bye